Hello everyone, today I'm going to be taking you to my favorite Korean market. It's called Mega Mart and I really love everything they have there. I'm going to be taking you on a tour at a store and I'm going to share with you some of my favorite pre-made foods that they sell there. I'm really looking forward to this video, so let's go! The first area you see inside the store when you walk in the doors is this produce area. They have a large produce shelf right here. You see a lot of greens and green onions, and then they also have fruit down over here. Right here is the sign that says we have some Korean Singo pears. They almost look like an Asian pear. And also right here we have honey pomelos, and I absolutely love these. Koreans love their sweet potatoes, so right here we have some box California grown sweet potatoes. And then right over in this section, we have some more sweet potatoes just hanging out on a shelf right here. Koreans use a lot of sesame oil, so right here are some large jugs of sesame oil. I certainly love it. And then right here we have a whole bunch of instant ramen. Like literally, this whole island is full of instant ramen. We have two brands, we have the Jin Ramen and the Samyang Ramen right here. Right here we have one of the many frozen sections. Right here they're selling frozen meat and frozen seafood. And on this section they're also selling frozen seafood. So it looks like they have a lot of frozen fish. Right here it looks like they have some interesting marinated meats that are frozen. There's some budok chicken, there's some also chicken bulgogi, beef galbi, gojujang pork belly, pork bulgogi, all sorts of deliciousness. This all looks really good. They also have some more traditional ingredients such as beef intestine, beef tripe, and beef tendon, all three which I love. They also have a huge section of shabu meat that's great for a hot pot. As you can see, there's all sorts of different types of meat. You even have lamb right here, and there's lots of beef. Like, look at this. We have a nice big cut of beef ribeye. This is obviously not for shabu just to be eaten, and all of it looks really fresh and high quality. Also with the seafood section, they have a lot of raw seafood. Right here we have some raw squid, and there's all sorts of other stuff as well. They also have some frozen yellow croaker fish, and this is really interesting. It looks like completely whole fish. Right here we have the butcher, and this is basically the fresh meat section of the store. Right here in this whole shelf area, we have a lot of different fresh meats, and we even have marinated meat. Right here I find it pretty crazy. There's literally an entire aisle, basically half a section, full of seaweed. If you look closely, everything here is a different brand of seaweed. We have all sorts of different types. Some seaweed that's good for eating, and then it looks like there's some seaweed that's good for wrapping kimbap, which is used for sushi. There's also a slightly smaller section of gochujang, which is Korean hot red pepper paste. It's basically a soybean and red pepper mixture that's fermented, and it's really salty and spicy, and adds a lot of flavor to Korean food. They have some smaller tubs of gochujang, which I usually use, and this will last me for quite a few months, just because it's a decent size. And they also have these giant ones, which are quite heavy. I mean, I feel like these are at least like two pounds full of pure gochujang, and I don't know how anyone is able to use this all up. This is the kimchi area, and they literally have about five cases that I count of kimchi. And some of these are huge jars. Like, look at this. This has got to be one of the biggest jars of kimchi I've ever seen. I don't know how heavy it is because I'm not going to pick it up. I feel like it might be five pounds, though. They also have an entire aisle of Korean dumplings. And right here, I see my favorite brand. These are Bimbigo dumplings, and this is my favorite brand of Korean dumplings. Right here we have the candy and cookie aisle. Right here this whole side aisle is full of different Korean candies and all sorts of treats. And then right here we have a ton of different traditional Korean snacks. A lot of these are like cakes and cookies. Right here is definitely one of the most popular ones. This is choco pie. Definitely this one surprises me. I don't think I've ever seen a black sugar choco pie before. I'm going to be getting a couple of these Milkita candies, which I love. They're basically a creamy, chewy taffy that is either fruit-flavored or chocolate-flavored. Right here we have a nice large shelf of Budok Ramen. It's known for being one of the spiciest Korean ramen. And there's a lot of different types of flavors. There's black bean. There's even cheese. Or what I find to be a little bit odd, this is tomato pasta. 
And there's corn, which actually sounds pretty good to me. This huge section of the store is the prepared food area, which is my favorite place in the store. I literally just saw that they're selling Dalgona candy, and they have a special challenge where if you're able to get the Dalcona candy out, just like they did in Squid Game, and you bring it to the bakery, you get a free slice of cake. In the bakery section, they're selling taiyaki, which looks like these little fish. They're basically like small waffles filled with red bean, and I thought I'd give it a try. Right here is one of my favorites. I'm definitely going to be trying this. This is the spicy fried chicken. This whole section, they have a lot of meatballs over rice, just meat over rice. And my favorite one for sure is the spicy pork over rice. The spicy pork is so flavorful and it'll definitely burn you up inside. Their japchae here is also pretty popular. It's fairly decent as well. It's just glass noodles mixed with a little bit of vegetables and it's pretty tasty. This is the roasted sweet potato, some of the sweetest yams I've ever had. I also saw this pan fried mix, which I think will be interesting to try. This is just a whole bunch of Korean pancakes. They're basically just fried seafood pancakes. This I love here. This is their spicy rice cake. Just rice cakes in a spicy sauce. And it says new. So I'm not sure how, what that means. Maybe it'll be a little bit more spicy. We'll just have to see. We have a pretty hefty cart full of food. So I can't wait to try some of the prepared items when we get home. I'm back with the goods and all this food looks amazing. So let's dig in. I'm going to be starting off with this pan fried mix, which just looks like an assortment of fish cakes that are nice and pan fried, a little bit crispy. I'm going to start off with this pepper that looks like it's stuffed with some sort of fish cake. Wow, this is actually really good. This is not at all what I was expecting. It turns out that it's a meat filling. It looks like there's some sort of light pancake batter on top. Adds a little bit of crispiness, tastes quite eggy as well. And then the inside is this juicy beef filling and it's stuffed inside of what looks like to be a bell pepper. I mean, I'm guessing it's some sort of Korean pepper, but it just tastes like a green bell pepper. And even though I'm not the biggest fan of bell peppers, it's still really tasty because it mostly just tastes like juicy meat filling. Now for our next item, it looks like it's some sort of fish cake filled with a little bit of carrots and green onion. Wow, this is really nice. This is almost like an omelet in a way because it tastes like it's made out of egg. And I also taste a little bit of crab meat in there, which is nice and sweet. And I also feel like they add a little bit of sugar to this basically patty because it tastes a little bit sweet. And I really love the flavor of the green onions, which adds some sharpness. My only criticism is it's a little bit greasy, but honestly, it's not bad because basically anything pan fried is gonna be greasy. Now for this one, which looks like a small round cake. Not sure what it is yet. Whoa, well, this is really interesting. This tastes like a fish ball that's mixed with a little bit of green onion and carrot. And the carrot adds a little bit of sweetness. The fish ball itself is really nice and soft and has a very mild white fish flavor. And the outside of it tastes like it's been battered in the same sort of eggy like batter and then fried. So I really like that. And what it reminds me of is my grandma used to make a soup with fish balls and this kind of tastes like that. So basically it's just like a fried fish ball with a little bit of filling, pretty tasty. And finally, we have one more pan fried item. I'm not really sure what it is. It's just this really large one. So let's give it a go. You know, this is all right. The fish is really nice and moist. It's not too fishy and the batter adds a really nice flavor. However, I do have to say it's a little bit greasy, but I think that's just because it's been sitting out for a while at home. So I really do think it's pretty decent. You just want to eat this one right away when you get back from the store. Now let's get a bit of the japchae, which are stir-fried glass noodles. This is definitely some solid japchae. The noodles are perfectly cooked, nice and chewy. They have a really nice sweet soy flavor. And what's different about this compared to other japchae is I really taste a lot of sesame seeds because they put some sesame seeds on top and they cook it in sesame oil. So I really love that rich flavor. And you have a little bit of brightness and crunch from the carrots and onions in there. Wow, this is some pretty good chop chai. Definitely worth a try. Now for a bit of our spicy pork from the spicy pork bowl. And this is quite on a hot side. This is a really well-made dish. The pork is so delicious. It's really nice and fatty, a bit heavy on the fat. It's almost like pork belly. Really love the texture of the meat. And it's also very spicy. At first, it doesn't taste that strong, but the spiciness is really like a slow burn and it really sneaks up on you. In fact, I need a little bit of water. 
Oh, that's much better. This is definitely what you would call hot at a restaurant. The rice also soaks up some of the oil and it cuts the spiciness a bit as well. Next, I'm gonna be trying their roasted sweet potatoes. And oh yeah, it smells really good today. This just smells like sweet, wonderful goodness. These are so wonderfully smooth and creamy and rich, and they're really, really sweet. Some of the sweetest sweet potatoes I've ever had. And another minor thing that I really appreciate is it's not really stringy. It's very smooth and not too fibrous. Believe it or not, these aren't even the sweetest I've had them. Sometimes they're so sweet that it's almost like there's sugar syrup dripping out of them, and they're literally sticky to the touch. However, today they're still really good, and my dog Oreo also loves these. And they're a pretty healthy snack for dogs. They have a lot of nutrients in there, so it's nice as a small treat. Now for another one of my favorite items. This is their spicy fried chicken. And this is some really solid Korean fried chicken. This is so good. The chicken is really nice and juicy, and I love the batter because it's paper thin. It's not thick or greasy at all. It's just light, and it almost melts in your mouth. It's a little bit crispy, and I love the sauce on the outside. It's a sweet and spicy chili sauce, and it's not too overwhelming. It even tastes a little bit fermented. Wow, this is really good. You all definitely need to try this. This Korean fried chicken is better than some restaurants I've gotten it from. Now for the spicy rice cake, and this has got to be one of my favorite items. It's really simple. It's just like steamed rice cakes as well as fish cake and a spicy sauce, but it is addicting. This one is definitely heavy on the spice as well. You gotta love the texture of the rice cakes. They're really, really chewy. It's almost like eating a piece of gum. It's that chewy, but I mean that in the best way possible. Actually, to be honest, it's more of like the texture of a gummy candy. You have a really nice rice flavor. It's almost like mochi in a way. And I also really love the sauce. It is so spicy, and you can definitely tell that it's made with gochujang, which is that red pepper paste that I showed you at the store. You really get that nice, rich and intense soybean flavor, the intense spiciness. And I also really like the fish cake flavor because you get a little bit of fishiness in the sauce, which really adds to it. And the fried Korean fish cake that's in there never disappoints either. The fish cake is really nice. The texture is a bit of a soft and chewy texture. It's a lot less chewy than the fish cake. And I really love the flavor. It's just mildly fishy, not overly so. And it really soaks up all the sauce. Definitely more so than a rice cake. So you gotta be careful. It can get really spicy really quick. In fact, before I ate this, I have to admit I was a little bit cold because it's quite a cold day outside today, but now I don't feel cold at all. It really warms you up. It's a great dish in the winter time. The last item I'm gonna be trying are these taiyaki, and I love the shape. It's a really cute fish, and it's filled with red bean. What's not to love about this taiyaki? It's cute and it tastes amazing. It's quite a bit different than most taiyaki I'm used to. The outside normally tastes like a waffle, but this time it tastes like a sponge cake. It's so soft and moist and fluffy. It's really delicate and the filling is nice as well. It's a smooth red bean filling and you also have a little bit of the red bean skins for a bit of texture. It's so mildly sweet, not overly sweet at all. A perfect dessert. You all definitely should check out Mega Mart. It's funny because they changed their name a couple of months ago. It used to be called K Market, but it's literally the same store and it's amazing. Their prepared food is out of this world and they have a lot of unique Korean groceries that you can get there. Mega Mart is in Sunnyvale and I'll leave the information for them in the description down below. And yeah, I really hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure if you did to give it a like and also make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.